Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mellow Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. If you are a Scorpio born on October 29th, then this special bonus reading is for you. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on October 29th to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Through the power of the numbers, and so it is. rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Power of number 11. Power of number 7. And power of number 11. Okay. Well, there's like a twin flame energy that's going on with the 1111 and then you have the 7 in the middle. All right. Looks like we're going to the number 29 and 2 plus 9 equals to an 11. You break down the 11. Breaks it down to a two. One plus one is two. There's something here about partnership going on in the numbers. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpios born on October 29th. What is the overall general collective energy? Please show me what's up. Ah, the eight of pentacles. Scorpio, are you putting in a lot of time, energy, and work into something that you're passionate about? Or is this a new job situation that you could be going through. I don't know. Maybe the workload right now in the month of January has kind of, maybe it's piled up a bit. However, this can also talk about bringing in residual income or starting up a side hustle or having a couple side hustles to generate more additional support income. Okay. So I like that energy. You could also be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn. Mm, we are in technically Capricorn season. However, there could be, you know, when we've got the devil card up against a coin card, this is telling me right now, I don't know, maybe you feel a little obsessive right now over your dreams and goals. Or you're in a toxic work environment that you need to get out of. Mm -hmm. Could be. You got a toxic boss, toxic coworkers. Maybe, you know, your mindset of 2023 or closing out 2023. Maybe you thought like, hmm, you know, I would really like to leave this job. But I don't know. I think I'm going to have to stick around for a little bit longer, maybe until something else kicks in. But whatever it is, there's there's like an obsession going on or on a romantic level, there somebody could have an obsession over you right now or they're obsessing over how they're going to work in on the connection with you. Mm hmm. So... Yeah. A lot of thinking. I feel like there's a lot of thinking that's also going on. Some of you are in hermit mode. Maybe some of you are not feeling as excited or enthusiastic, but maybe somewhere deep down inside, like you know you're going to harness. You're going to figure out 
how to harness the power and the energy of 2024 and really see the shift, really see the change. However, if those of you who are obsessive compulsive workers, I think that there's also another undercurrent going on here, meaning Scorpio. You need to rest. It's okay to take a break, you know, timed breaks. If you're on a limited schedule, you time out certain breaks if you can throughout the day, if you have more of that freedom. Maybe you feel like you're going so strong, so gung-ho right now in the second week of January of 2024 because now you're maybe you're in this mindset where like, I'm not going to waste a minute, Mel. I'm not going to waste no time in order to get what I want. You need to rest in between. Some of you decided to go back to the gym, maybe really rock it out, pump it out. Working in on your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health energy levels, but whatever it is, there's an obsessive energy that's going on, whether that's you and your goals or the work environment situation has become toxic, or you know that you need to leave or get out of this place of employment, go somewhere else. But it seems to me that Capricorn season for you guys born on October 29th, Capricorn season could feel like it's riding you a bit. Okay. Okay, the energy is shifting a bit. I'm seeing a romantic situation. Somebody here is massively attracted to you, Scorpio. They can't stop thinking about you. I'm, I'm hearing the song from, I think it's the... You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Is it I love you, baby? For, I think it's Frankie Valley, Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. I love you, baby. I love you, baby. And if it's quite all right, I need you, baby. Oh my God, somebody is obsessing. They're so heavily attracted to you. It almost feels kind of stalkerish in a way. Mm. I would think differently of like if the devil card wasn't there and the page of swords was there, then yeah, somebody's, you know, stalking, spying in on your social media. But there's also this ambition going back to the work energy. You so streamlining your thoughts, manifesting this energy with inside of you to keep going the distance, like you're not going to allow distractions to steer you off track, to, to get you off course. Like you're looking away from something, Scorpio, or you're going to turn a blind eye to the people, maybe it's your haters, maybe you got haters, people who are jealous of you, family members who are jealous of you. I've got a lot of storylines coming up, a lot of different energies, a lot of different emotions and thought process. Somebody's obsessing over you, they can't take their eyes off of you, they're into the groove of you, but... This person that you dealt with, Scorpio, for some of you was exceptionally toxic and narcissistic and they tried to keep you stuck. Please use wisdom and discernment when it comes to this person. 
And yet it almost feels like there's another energy or somebody else is just, they're wanting to be with you, wanting to be in your presence. Like they are obsessing 24 seven about you. Let's go into the hidden truth Oracle. No, wait, we'll wait. I'm going to go into the Kipper deck because I'm feeling more on your career energy right now. You're just in this driving force mode. Show me Scorpio's work life right now. What's going on? Give me some insight. Occupation. See, we have the occupation card. So again, some of you may be trying, maybe you're obsessively compulsively thinking like, okay, what other ways can I go ahead and start making other streams of income in order to do what I passionately want to do? Because the devil card can represent passion a passion for your dreams, a passion for your career. Like you can't see yourself doing anything else except what it is that you love to do. So again, the driving force, the motivation, feeling maybe good about yourself, really trying to zone in and suck the marrow again out of 2024. Message of concern, okay? On a romantic level, somebody could be coming in to reach out. Maybe you want to talk to this person. Maybe you don't want to talk to this person. Okay. There could also be back into the work environment situation. I just heard another scenario. Uh, there could be toxic communication going on amongst other coworkers, and you might not have anything to do with it. But maybe they're trying to use you as a third party or a witness, etc. Proceed with caution with that. Concern. On a romantic level, you could be concerned about this person from the past, whether or not you should be sticking or hanging around them or even involved with them. So let's... Some of you could be worried about a job situation, or you're just worried about a relationship in general. Trusted ancestors for Scorpio born on October 29th. And if they are dealing with a specific person, what's going on here? You came closer than anybody. So again, they're obsessing on the fact that they want to work in on the connection. So if you came closer than anybody, then what this would tell me, first off, they should have never left you in the first place. Because if you're number one, if you're number one in their eyes, why would they leave number one? However, things like that happen. Somebody leaves number one, they go off to third party. They could be recognizing and realizing now that what they were dealing with over in the fake green grass, that that situation didn't even compare to you, Scorpio. Hence another reason why somebody's obsessing. I will wait for a sign from you. That doesn't mean you go into the runner chaser mode. This person might be just looking for a sign or a signal in the universe that maybe somehow, some way they think that the two of you are going to be back together again, but they don't exactly know how to approach, but there is communication because we saw a message of concern. There we go. We will be together again. So this person, Scorpio, you may be very hesitant whether or not. You want to engage in a connection with this person again because they could have really did you dirty, really did you wrong, you know? And right now, you could be the one that's just really trying to zone in on your career life right now, 
having better finances, more money in the bank, working in a career that you just absolutely love. And then it's like energetically, you start to move on. They feel that pull. Then they start to come in. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that happens? Well, that's that's an energy frequency. When we drop the ball and start putting ourselves first, and we keep on keeping on, are you kidding me? That person over there is going to pick up on the energy shift. This person may be obsessing or going to end up trying to convince you that the two of you should be back together again. Yeah, they have romantic feelings. It says your feelings are real and worth exploring. True love. Yeah, they're obsessing big time. I think this person knows what they lost now, Scorpio. Yep. Forgiving and learning, bottom of the deck. Yep. Wanting to come back, beg you. Try to convince you how much they are in love with you. Mm, but for you, I don't know. Some of you Scorpios might be like, no, 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 no. This person's too taboo for me. Unrequited love. Let me put my glasses on. It says, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. However, the other flip side of the coin is that if this person's obsessing over you, which they are, they want to have this fresh new start, a new love situation. Some of you could have already moved on to a new person and things could be going very well for you. You know, however, if they were dealing with a third party, it became unrequited love. Now they're obsessing over you. They feel like the two of you are going to be back together again. But again, you could be highly concerned and turning your face, you know, turning your head away from this person to be like, mm, yeah, I don't know. You know, and especially, you know, if you're very skeptical, Scorpio, on what to say to this person, you can go to the channel, The Art of Love. Uh, the host's name is Lucia. I don't know her personally, but she has a very important video. The six most important things to say when the ex returns, because I do feel like this is an ex for sure. Do I think that there could be somebody new, a new love situation, somebody who's obsessing over you, who just thinks you're the greatest person, but you know, it's like they got to make you theirs. Yeah, there's a little bit of an obsessive, creepy energy when I say that in a way. You know what I mean? But just right now, I feel, yes, your love life is important. You can certainly manifest for new situations. Or if you're really trying to get this person from the past to come back in, plenty of guided meditations on YouTube to draw a specific person in. Um, but... I think this person's regretting because if, if you came closer than anybody, something didn't happen out there. Something didn't work out for them. So now they're like, oh my God, I probably got to hurry up, race, rush to Scorpio. But it feels to me that they're more, they're more thinking or strategizing. They're still attracted to you, no doubt. But right now, Harness the energy of 2024. Keep working on your finances. Keep working towards your career choice. What makes you happy? Because whatever it is that you're doing, Scorpio, it's somehow drawing this person's energy to you. Okay? They're feeling a shift. Mm -hmm. My awesome and amazing Scorpios born on October 29th. If you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.